last year before I graduated high school. Um, my junior year of high school. 11th grade. That's a great question. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I forget the difference between organic and inorganic. I mean, I know it's and, like not alive, but yeah. Very little to none. How is inorganic chemistry used in your cooking? Ooh, that's a nice one. Hey, boss. Huh. Organic. Um, well, everything that we have, what's it called? We try to use organic when possible, but it's so, since it's so hard to. Um... The means. Well, we buy organic products. Yeah. Or basically our main is based off a lot of organic products, so like, right? Yeah. Uh, what's it called, I guess, to uh, receive, or not necessarily receive, but it's just so expensive nowadays. I mean, inorganic would be metals, so temperatures and of our cooking supplies and things, right? And so we try to use organic when possible, but we use organic proteins, all of our chicken, tempeh, things like that are organic. Can you name an inorganic metal that is found in the human body? Organic metal is found in human body. It would be like a metal from the periodic table. Mm -mm. What is it? Magnesium, zinc, uh, calcium, sodium, potassium. Why do apples turn brown when you slice them? The air oxidation. Being exposed to the air, oxygen turns the skin brown. I got, so a, I got a secret for that. I put some acid on it so they don't turn brown. What is the charge of an electron? What is the charge? So like positive, negative, neutral. Oh, positive. <laughs> your guess? Yeah, it's positive, I believe. You don't want to change your answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do. <laughs> negative, right? What is the pH of water? pH of water? Oh. oh. More of a base, right? Yeah. Isn't it... Isn't it pretty alkaline? Two. It's a number. Two. It's not two. Ten. No. Third it's time. Somewhere in between. Somewhere in between? Yeah. Seven. This isn't fair. We're restaurant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. okay we'll ask get me to... about food costs. Okay. Okay. Ask me about labor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and how to get. And now I'm going to give you element symbols from the periodic table, and you're going to try to answer what I they are. I failed at science, but okay. I'm going to say some element symbols, and you're going to name what they are. Now, what is, what is this correlated to? The periodic yeah. table. Well, where do we find the table? <coughs> PT. Bronze? K. Kryptonite. C. Bronze. W. Bronze. D. Barium. B. Barium. No. B. Barium. Aha. What is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug? Psychoactive? Marijuana. Oh. Uh, caffeine. It's in front of your face. Right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm going to say just a bunch of random words and whatever comes to mind, you say it doesn't have to be chemistry related. Okay. Sodium chloride. Um, thank you. I don't know right now. Uh, that's the table salt? Kelvin. Klein. Pasteur. Louis. Louis. Clark. Avogadro. What? Avogadro. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing science but green. Gamma. Is that Greek? Delta. <laughs> Greek. <laughs> Alpha. That's a, that's both Greek and it's a sleeping state. <laughs> Lambda. Chi. Delta. Nu. Gamma. Phi. Ruin. Ruin? USC. Trojan. That's so inappropriate, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Ruin. You see why? Uh-huh. What is your best cooking advice? Cooking potatoes on your stove and 
use a damp towel to grab that pot. It's gonna go, that heat from that pot's gonna go right through that damp rag. And it's gonna be, so I always use a dry towel when grabbing something hot. Right. 